All right, you guys, today we'll check out how to replicate the Apple liquid glass animation here in After Effects. Now, of course, this is not gonna give you the same results as the Apple animation. You only can do this realistically in 3D. So let's take a look how to do this in After Effects. Let's go and create a new composition. I'm gonna go with 1080p, 30 frame per second. I'm gonna go with five second black backgrounds and rename it liquid effect. Click OK. And first we're gonna need to create the animation. So let's go and select the rectangle. Let's go to the fill. Make sure to select solid color, click on it, click OK. Let's go to the fill color, click on it. I'm gonna make it white, click OK. Let's go to the stroke, click on the none, click OK. And now let's draw a rectangle like this. Now let's go to the roundness, increase it and make it all the way rounded. Now let's go here to the shape layer, open up the rectangle one. We're gonna need the rectangle path one, open it up. And we're also gonna need to go to the transform rectangle one, open it up. And here we're gonna need the anchor point. Press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch at the anchor point. Open up the expressions and I'm gonna type in W space equals space. And I'm gonna go here to the anchor point pick whip and let's pair it here to the size of the rectangle path one. It's gonna copy paste the values, open up the bracket, type in zero, close up the bracket, semicolon, enter, type in H space equals space. And let's go to the pick whip again, pair it to the size. Now let's go back, open up the bracket, type in one, close, semicolon, enter, open up the bracket again. We're gonna go with the width W slash minus two. So this is gonna position the anchor point on the left side and the bottom. And let's go on. I'm gonna go with H slash two, close up the bracket, click somewhere here. And we're gonna need to reset the rectangle. I'm gonna select the rectangle. And let's go and align it horizontally and I'm gonna bring it to the left, something like this. All right, so now we're gonna to need to animate it and here we're gonna go here to the size rectangle path one and make sure to unlink it. And we're gonna to need to decrease this value and check this out, it is going to scale down equally. Onto is gonna form a perfect circle. And of course, in order to form a perfect circle, I'm gonna go with this value, press control C and I'm just gonna copy paste it here, press control V, enter. So now we got a perfect circle. Let's go and bring this to the 10th frame. Let's go to the size, activate the stopwatch and I'm gonna go to the fourth second and here I'm gonna increase the size value and it's gonna look something like this. All right, so let's select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. Let's go to the graph editor, let's select this anchor point, drag the handle on the left and the right handle also, hit play and it's gonna look something like this. Uncheck the graph editor, now we're gonna need to create another circle. So I'm gonna select the shape layer one, press control D to duplicate. And I'm gonna select the shape layer one again. Let's bring this back. Let's go and uncheck the stopwatch at the size. So now it's a perfect circle. I'm gonna collapse this, open up the transform here. And let's go push it to the 10th frame and activate the position stopwatch here. What I'm gonna need to do is bring it out. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the position. I'm just gonna push it out. Select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And now you're gonna have this. Now we're gonna need to apply that sticky effect. So right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer. I'm gonna rename it as sticky. And I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in simple choker. And drag and drop the simple choker on the sticky layer. And I'm gonna go to the choker mat, increase it. Right now you cannot see anything, but I'm gonna go here to the fourth frame. And with a position, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit more to the left and check this out. Now it's gonna start sticking. And it's gonna look something like this. I'm also gonna increase the simple choker a little bit more. There you go. So now we got a proper animation going on that looks something like this. Now we're gonna need to create a new composition. Let's go back to the project, right click here, new composition. This is gonna be the liquid effect displacement. There you go, click OK. Here I'm gonna go to the rectangle, double click on it. So this is gonna add the background, make sure the fill is on white, click OK. And I'm gonna drag and drop the liquid effect composition into the displacement above the background layer. I'm gonna bring it somewhere here. Right now you cannot see anything. But what I'm gonna do is go here to the layer. Let's go to layer styles and I'm gonna select the inner glow. Let's go open up the inner glow. Let's go to blend mode. I'm gonna change it up to normal. Let's go to the color, change it up to black, click OK. Let's go down here to the size, I'm gonna increase it to 80. And I'm also gonna increase the range, I'm gonna go with 32. Now this is gonna be the displacement. 
All right, so let's go back here to the project, right click, new composition, and this is gonna be the final comp. Click OK. And just for the reference, I created this background real quick. Now let's go to the liquid effect, press and hold shift, select liquid effect displacement and drag it above the background. I'm gonna select the liquid displacement, uncheck it, make it invisible. Now let's go and select the liquid effect and here I'm gonna activate the effects, click on it. If you don't have this option, you can go and click on the toggle switch so it's gonna appear or disappear. I'm also gonna rename the liquid effect. I'm gonna add glass. There you go. Now let's go to effects and presets, type in CC glass, and drag and drop the CC glass on the liquid effect glass. Now let's go and open up the surface. Now let's go to bump map, change it to liquid effect displacement, source, effects and masks. Softness is gonna be 126, height is gonna be zero, displacement 96. Now let's go and open up the shading, ambient is gonna be 80, Diffuse 80, Specular 60, and the rest are going to be the same. Now let's go to Effects and Presets, type in CC Blobilize, and drag and drop it under the CC glass, open up the blobbiness, let's go to Blob Layer, change it to Liquid Effect Displacement, Source, Effects and Masks, Softness is going to be 35, Cutaway is going to be 0. Now I'm going to go to the Light, open it up, and I'm gonna go to the light direction and I'm gonna change it to 155. Let's open up the shading. Ambient is gonna be 40. Diffuse is gonna be 50. Specular 50. And I'm gonna go to the metal, 50. Enter. Now let's go back to the project here. We're gonna to need to create a new composition. Select new composition. And I'm gonna rename it as shadows. Click OK. I'm gonna go and double click on the rectangle. And I'm also going to change up the fill to 100% white, click OK. Let's go and select the liquid effect composition, drag it above the background. So make sure that you're on the liquid effect. Let's go to layer, let's go to layer styles, and let's select the stroke. And here we're going to go to the stroke, open it up. I'm going to bring this up, change up the color to black, click OK. Now let's go here to the size, increase it to 55. And here I'm going to go here to the positioning and change it to inside. Great, let's go back here to the final composition and let's go here to the project and drag and drop the shadows under the liquid effect displacement. Now let's go to effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur and drag and drop the Gaussian blur on the shadows. Let's increase the blurriness. And with this, we're gonna make the blur effect and I'm gonna select the shadow composition and put it somewhere here. Now we're gonna need to switch up the blend mode, of course, and let's go here to the toggle switch Click on it, so now you can see the modes here, and I'm gonna switch it, and I'm gonna select the multiply. So I'm gonna position the shadows something like this, and I'm gonna open up the shadows layer, go to transform, here we get the opacity, and decrease the opacity. So now we're gonna have some nice looking shadows, but I also wanna make it more thicker, so I'm gonna open up the shadows comp, and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit more, and I can go back to the final comp, and there it is. Let's decrease the opacity all the way down. All right, so let's go back to the project and I'm gonna drag and drop the liquid effect again one more time above every each layer. And I'm gonna rename this. This is gonna be the stroke. Let's go to effects and presets, type in fill and drag it under the stroke. Change up the color to black. Let's go and type in CC light sweep and drag it under the fill. And I'm also going to activate the solo here. So now only this effect is going to be visible. I'm going to go here to the center. I'm going to type in 1045 by 235. The direction is going to be 30. Width is going to be 300. Sweep intensity 0. Edge intensity 17. And edge thickness 4.9. I'm also going to duplicate the CC light sweep. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm going to go to the second version. And here I'm going to type in 960 by 270. The direction is going to be 185. Width is going to be 335. Edge intensity 40. Edge thickness 2.7. Now let's go and deactivate the solo. And now let's go to the mode. And let's go and change it to color dodge. And check this out. Now it's going to look clean. And pretty much that's how I made this Apple liquid glass here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.